All right, I've got six o'clock. Why don't we call the meeting to order, please? Someone should have a resolution to adopt the agenda. Uh, moved by Councillor Lane, <coughs> second by myself, that we resolve that we the, the agenda be adopted as presented. Great, thank you. Question, all those in favor, it's carried. Confirmation of the minutes. Uh, moved by Councillor Lane, seconded by myself, that we resolve that the minutes of the regular council meeting and the committee of the whole meeting of October 28, 2019, we hereby approve. All statutory declarations have been complied with. Question, all those in favor, carry. Citizens period. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I contacted Jen and uh, she suggested that I utilize the uh, citizens period. Uh, so I'm here on behalf of North Forge, uh, North Forge North. I just recently took the position of director, uh, entrepreneur in residence for that organization. Uh, and I want to basically make a quick introduction. Uh, yeah, unsure what you guys all know. I know that some of you are a little bit of aware of what North Forge North is all about, uh, but I'm just gonna just be really quick. So if uh, you already know all this, you can just uh, file it in the, I know this already. So it's a partnership between the University College of the North, uh, Arctic Gateway and Western Diversification through the CEDF. And it's been named a strategic partner uh, by the province of Manitoba to help push innovation and economic development. So as we know, the uh, provincial government is looking to not uh, duplicate things, uh, duplicate projects and duplicate services. So they saw what was happening with North Forge and they decided that it would be more efficient of, uh, for them to just be a support role for North Forge uh, uh, pushing with, for innovation in, in the province. So I, I was able to sit there down in Winnipeg a few weeks ago and kind of go through some of the, uh, the many, the, the huge network that they have and all the services that you are exposed to uh, being a part of that program. And I would estimate that in, in my business, if I had have had the opportunity to take advantage of that, it probably would have cut the time down from five years of, of creating the business plan and doing all the, the lead up work, I'd probably reduce it down to one year or less. So it's a really amazing, uh, amazing network. Uh, in the Norman region, which is the region which we're going to be uh, encompassing, uh, th that's a, a huge geographic area. So there is uh, further expansion plans for a satellite office in Thompson. However, being from here, this is the primary focus for, for my work is the PAW area. Uh, some of the resources I'm just going to name drop really quick, but. Uh, World Trade Center, MyTAC Training, Technology Manitoba, as well as funding partners like Futurepreneur and the BDC. So if you know anything about the history of North Forge, it's really interesting because it started off as a pretty well as a volunteer basis. So it was just a number of business people in Winnipeg that realized that uh, collectively we kind of do a, a poor job of supporting uh, business development but with entrepreneurs supporting entrepreneurs and we lacked the culture I guess for building more businesses so the original uh, framework of North Forge was actually a few gentlemen uh, who ended up starting up businesses and they just devoted and sent money back to create this organization uh, to help foster more businesses and it actually still runs quite a bit on volunteer work uh, in the actual fabrication lab in Winnipeg uh, if you've ever had a chance to go down to the Exchange District and check it out, it's an amazing facility. It's very unassuming. You go in, uh, in the Exchange District, it's in an older building, and you walk up some stairs. And then you walk inside, and it's just all just so creative. There's like a room for every different type of, uh, of fabrication. So obviously lots of 3D printing takes place. Uh, woodwork, metalwork, if you want to build circuit boards. Uh, they have a, an arrangement with Red River Community College, so if there's an application that you want to make for like a cell phone, you can actually have access to all their coders. So uh, while the, the focus is obviously on, on digital work in Winnipeg, it, the North Forge North is on general business development in the North, so it's not having a focus of, of, uh, of, of just app development. It's basically as a support role for any type of business, for startups and for any existing businesses that are trying to scale their operations up. So what it basically does is it decreases the cost 
and the risk out of, uh, out of uh, growing your business or starting your business. Uh, there, that will be replicated here in the PAW with UCN. So Doug Lofsted has allowed the shops area, that will be the prototype area for anybody who wants to, to make use of it. There is gonna be some capital expenditures uh, to, for some 3D uh, printing process, uh, machines, sorry, some 3D printers and some other machinery. But it's, uh, you've all, all seen how amazing the facility is and what you can make there. You can make literally, literally anything. Uh, one of the big parts of the program is the mentorship. Uh, so you have full guidance. So you have uh, business people um, uh, that are in currently in business or else some of them are retired. And they're basically there to help anybody develop their business plan and kind of walk you along the process all the way from your business uh, idea all the way through to, uh, to scaling up operations or even potentially finding large scale investors. Uh, so right now we're just in the ramp up phase. We're not, we don't have an office yet. We're just kind of really kind of uh, starting out here fresh. Uh, after Christmas and the new year, we will be uh, launching officially. The date is still up in the air, but most likely sometime in January, uh, as well as the location. So some of it will be at UCN, but because of the partnership with, uh, with Arctic Gateway, the, the old White House there across from Michael's may have some part of it there as well. Uh, so I just wanted to say hello and that I'm here and uh, if you guys have any uh, thoughts or concerns or questions or if uh, you guys end up getting people like looking for some help for any type of projects or perhaps any of your organizations, there, there's a support role there for, for you guys. That sounds good. Uh, anybody got any questions for Charles? No? Okay. That's good. Thank, Thank you. you. Let us know yep. as it progresses. Okay, uh, moving back into bylaws, 5-1. Uh, so this bylaw is to install a couple of uh, stop signs out at the new lake uh, development uh, for the lakefront lots there. So moved by Councillor Lane, second by myself, resolved that bylaw number 4598 being a bylaw of the town of the Paw to amend bylaw number 2265 being the Town of the Paw traffic bylaw be read for the first time. All right, question. All those in favor? It's carried. Uh, six, four, one. Sharing of the party. So moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Murphy, be resolved that Council agree to cost share Christmas party this year with QP Local 745 on a 50-50 basis, up to a maximum of uh, $2,500. And I'm not sure if this has been done every year or not, but this has been done uh, in the past many times. All right, Chris, uh, Christmas is back. Okay, so question, all those in favor? It's carried. <coughs> Six four two, please. Uh, some time ago, uh, Mayor Council put out a, uh, a tender for supplies regarding a fence to address some of the issues we've been having on the walkways. Uh, or actually, uh, sorry, this I'm one ahead of myself. So this is just a tender for room salt. I'm not a little bit ahead. Um, so moved by myself, second by Council Murphy, whereas an invitation to tender was sent to suppliers. And an advertisement was placed on the town's webpage, Mercs, and in the Pasco Times for the supply and delivery of 90 metric tons of road salt, whereas there were two bids received, therefore be resolved that council accept the bid from Edmund Trucking in the amount of $14,364, including taxes for the supply and delivery of 90 metric tons of road salt. Great. Uh, question? All those in favor? It's carried. Uh, six, four, three. There we go. Now, yeah, one time. So the, again, uh, Mayor Council put up a tender uh, for to for fencing materials. Uh, we uh, finally got a tender back. Um, so the tender would be, uh, I guess, addressing the for the supply 
of materials for a very specific fence that was uh, kind of came out of uh, one of the solutions with the side committee that we had to address some of the walking path issues. So moved by myself, second by Council Murphy, whereas an invitation to tender was sent to suppliers, an advertisement was placed on the town's webpage, Mercs and Faster Times for the supply and delivery of fencing for the walk paths. And whereas one bid was received, therefore we resolved that council accept the bid from JM Industries in the amount of fifty-eight thousand six hundred dollars and eight cents, including taxes for the supply and delivery of fencing for the walking paths. It was also important to note that uh, this is came above what we were uh, budgeting for, uh, and there was uh, we had some, a bit of discussion, and I guess it's still open for discussion tonight. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, is there any discussion on the issue? Um, I guess yeah. I <clears throat> I'm going to be voting against uh, approving the tender. I don't think that we're going in the right direction for what we should be doing here. So, I'll be voting against the. The uh, resolution. Any other discussion? I'll be abstaining. Is it possible to table this until we have a full council? You can if you want. Because I would rather have a full council. So can we table this to the next meeting? If you want to, yeah. Do I? What do I have to do? Just table it. Just say you table it. Okay, I'm going to yep. table it till the next meeting. Yeah, and, I, and I think this, I, I agree, I'd rather have uh, uh, everyone vote yes. so that at the end of it, uh, it's a, it was a decision of all of council, whether it was for or against. I would agree. Okay, okay cool. 644, four, committee board appointments. Uh, moved by myself, seconded by Council Ward. Be it resolved that Council approve the following board slash committee appointments for the remainder of 2019 and 2020. Uh, for the Personnel Committee, Councillor Murphy, <coughs> Councillor Lane, and Councillor Zielinski. The Policy Review Committee, Councillor Atkinson, Councillor Ward, Councillor Lane. Museum Board, Councillor Lane. Chamber of Commerce, Councillor Murphy. Sustainable Forest, Mayor Jakes. COPP, Councillor Forrester, CDC, Councillor Murphy, and Councillor Lane, Destination Marketing, Councillor Zielinski, Cedar Lake, Councillor Atkinson, Recycling Center, Councillor Zielinski, and Councillor Ward, uh, the Paw Community Renewal Corporation, Councillor Forrester, Library, Councillor Atkinson, SCAM, uh, Councillor Forrester, Kelsey Planning District, Mayor Jakes, Councillor Zielinski, Councillor Ward, uh, Kelsey School Division, Councillor Atkinson, Councillor Murphy, Councillor Forrester, and Deputy Mayor is Councillor Ward. Thank you. All righty, question. All those in favor? It's carried. Letters will go out tomorrow advising the committees of the new members. Great, thank you. 645, August Finance Report. <coughs> uh, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Ward. Be it resolved that Council accept the August financial summary as prepared and presented by G. Caller Controller. Great. Question? All those in favor? It's carried. 646. Uh, moved by myself. The self, uh, seconded by Councillor Ward. Be it resolved that Council authorize the following accounts. Pay period number 21 in the amount of $100,098.42. General check numbers uh, 23723 to 23770 and 23772 to 23806 in the amount of $395,008.88. And EFTs in the amount of $72,000. Eight hundred seventy-three dollars and thirty-five cents. Great, thank you. Uh, question: All those in favor? It's carried. Yep, go ahead. Six four seven. Yep, please. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Ward. Be it resolved that Council authorize the following account in conflict: General check number two three seven seven one in the amount of seven hundred fifty-two dollars and fifty-eight cents. Question. All those in favor, <coughs> it's carried. 648. I did, um, resolution number 2019-229, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Zelensky. Resolved that Council approve deletions in the amount of $338 and the additions in the amount of 
$10,284 to the 2019 real property tax roll as contained in a list in Manitoba Municipal Relations as of October 23, 2019. All right, question. All those in favor? It's carried. Thank you. 649. Resolution number 2019 uh, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Selinski, resolved that Council permit the Paul Community Renewal Corporation and the Paul Friendship Centre to use one of the trees on the left side of the museum to host the Christmas tree lighting ceremony on Saturday, November 23rd, 2019 at 5pm. Christmas is in the air. Question, all those in favor? It's carried. 6410. Resolution number 2019-231, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Zelensky, resolved that the Council accept the executive search proposal submitted by Harris Leadership Strategies to conduct the search for a, C, a Chief Administration Officer and an Economic Development Officer. Question. I oh, just, I, yep. I had one question. Sure. Under additional hires, I just didn't, I mean, maybe just ask clarification for the group, but it said, should additional candidates be engaged as a result of this search, an additional fee of 5500 plus was, GST? If we it? were looking for a new um, chief bottle maker, oh, he okay. would help us find that as well. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, question. All those in favor? It's carried. Six five one. Resolution number two thousand nineteen two three two, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Zelinsky. Resolved that the Assistant Chief Administration Officers wages change be increased as per Schedule A attached per discussion during the camera portion of the October twenty eighth, two thousand nineteen committee of the whole meeting. Question? All those in favor? It's carried. All righty. Committee reports. Museum board. Uh, no meeting. They have a meeting coming up, though. Uh, okay. Chamber of Commerce. Carrie's not here. Sustainable Forest. Uh, I haven't been to a meeting yet. Citizens on Patrol. Uh, there's been no meeting. CDC. We, have a, we had a plan on having a meeting this week. But we're waiting for a few items like budget numbers from uh, from uh, our people. So uh, we're meeting next week. Destination marketing. And there's been no meetings. Okay. Uh, Cedar Lake carries not here. Recycling board. No quorum last meeting. Next meeting is November 24th. <coughs> okay. Uh, no quorum. Uh, library board scan. Kelsey planning district. Uh, we had the open house that was last week. And that's moving along well. We're, we're told that this might be all done by the spring. So cross your fingers. Yeah, and uh, there's a museum meeting right now. Oh, is there? I knew there was either. That was the one. So. All right. There you go. Uh, KSD committee. We have a meeting on Thursday, and we've given them a proposal. And Still working through the details. Great. Citizens period. I see some citizens. Did you folks want to address us this evening? Oh, committee of the whole. You're all committee of the whole. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Motion to adjourn. There we go.